some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we got a Sovtard who uh, is pulled over for no plates and uh, decides to take the Fifth Amendment because, you know what, he just doesn't want to answer anybody's questions. It's most likely because he doesn't condone the uh, stop itself for whatever reason. So, yeah, he's a Sovtard who has $20 words and really doesn't know how to use them properly. So at any rate, let's uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's your, what's your emergency, sir? Well, the reason I'm stopping here is you don't have any place or a temporary registration from me. What do you mean for that? I don't answer questions, sir. What's your name? Okay, so you don't answer questions, so that explains why you haven't uh, even passed any of the YouTube law tests yet, and uh, have yet to even uh, pass one attempt of the bar exam. So, uh, yeah, thank you for the uh, confirmation on your stupidity. So as a consolation prize, I present you with this box of crayons for you to enjoy since you don't answer questions and therefore haven't exactly earned the right to uh, leave the kitty table yet. I don't answer questions, sir. What's your name? Okay, my name is Officer Randall. Officer Randall, and what is your badge number? Are you recording, sir? I don't answer questions, you sir. For me of that. I don't answer questions, sir. I need your name okay. and your phone well, and I your badge number. Your registration and insurance, please. Am I being detained, sir? What's that? Am I being detained? You are being stopped for a traffic violation, yes, sir. Am I free to go? No, you're not. Are you stupid or something? Uh, yeah, you're detained, so you're not exactly free to leave at this time. Though you are not currently under arrest, but, uh, just wait for it. He will be. Then you are, uh, trying to put me under arrest. Uh, so this is false I arrest. The reason why I stopped you, which is there's no license plates or temporary registration on the vehicle. What is your badge number, sir? My badge number is 16. Officer Randall, badge number 16. Yes, sir. I do not condone this stop. I guess he just got confused uh, between the words consent and condone because it sounded like he was in the middle of saying consent but then changed his mind to condone. Yeah, he probably doesn't understand the difference between the two words. So, uh, yeah, just your lack of education right there, dude. Which is probably why you fell down the deep, dark rabbit hole of soft artery. And I exercise my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent uh, and to not say anything further without presence of attorney and counsel. Okay, just so you know, sir, it is a crime to fail to carry and present. So if you do not have registration, then I will be able to force to detain you until I can identify who you are. Are you now, Officer Randall, attempting to threaten me and put me in a situation of duress and force no, sir, and put I'm me under an you of, uh, unlaw uh, an oath of crime. So it's a simple question. I'm just asking for your identification and then we can proceed, make sure everything's good and then I can get you out of here. I don't answer questions and okay, I don't sir. I don't agree to that contract. Dude, there is no contract involved. You did not follow the uh traffic laws of your state to get your vehicle tagged and registered. That's all on you, buddy. Take responsibility for your own actions. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot you glue stick eaters uh don't exactly have a sense of responsibility. I'm sorry. Yeah, just go ahead and carry on with your stupidity. It's about 8.45 on Wednesday morning. I'm on my way to work, just minding my own business when Officer Friendly pulled up behind me. I don't even know if he's an officer. I asked him for his name and badge number. His name is Randall. I forgot the badge number, but I should have it on recording. I am, 
He said I was being detained because I wouldn't give him my license and registration. So I am charging him for his time right now. We've been here about five minutes. Oh, wonderful. It wouldn't be a soft heart unless there was a fee schedule involved. Tell me something. Uh, what are you going to charge per minute? Is it something like 10 million gold coins per minute? Or uh, how about uh, 100,000 silver coins per uh, hour or something like that? I don't know. It's different between you guys. So carry on. This will be reflected in the Affidavit of Truth. Oh, so you have the Affidavit of Truth on you. Uh, question, can I see it? Because you know what? I need some toilet paper right quick. Uh, if you don't mind, of course. I am the great Cornholio. I need Kippy for my bunghole. <laughs> and we'll see. Winning of the world. And oh, and of course, I've invoked my Fifth Amendment rights as soon as he said I was being detained. Invoked my Fifth Amendment rights and requested counsel. Yeah, you invoked it, but you still haven't completely zipped that mouth all the way shut. It's still leaking air at this point. And told him he will be prosecuted for false arrest and will be charged for his time. For my time that he's taking up. Okay, sir. So, do you have any identification on you? This is my identification. Oh, gee, if only identification were all that simple through simple face recognition. If there were only some other way that were included with that, such as a uh, identifier called a name. But, you know, that's my opinion. I'm sure you've got yours on that. Obviously, since you pointed at your face, that's your opinion. And it's not a very good-looking opinion, either. Okay, so here's the deal. Like I explained to you, if I can't prove who you are, and I've requested identification from you because you were stopped for a traffic violation of having no license, place, or temporary registration, okay, if I can't identify you, and you... And you don't want to provide that information to me it's called fail to carry and present okay which is a crime so I'm trying to do the easy thing and identify who you are issue a citation and we'll get you out of here if I can do that if I've I invoked my right my fifth so, amendment I am right to be forced to place you under arrest I've you invoked that? my fifth amendment right okay go ahead and step out to of the vehicle for me. remain silent Sir, without presence go ahead and step out of the vehicle you're under arrest I've invoked my fifth step amendment right out of the vehicle now I do not agree to that contract you dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Wow, Soft Heart. Uh, how many crayons did you eat before you left home? Because, you know, I think they're getting to your brain already. I mean, this is not a contract. It is an arrest. You're not signing anything. You're not agreeing to anything. You are being uh, arrested because you are not cooperating. I mean, it's as simple as that. If I step out of the vehicle, then I'm under contract with you agreeing to... I don't agree to that contract. 
Have you got an extra go-to 10 line? It is not a damn contract, you fool. Your state has laws like many other states where if you fail to present your license at a traffic stop, you will be taken in. Get that through your thick skull and let that sink into your brain unless the paint thinner has already dissolved it. And I do think by this point the paint thinner has already done its job and reduced your brain to total mush. Because it seems like uh, you're not very coherent on a lot of what you say, nor do you understand anything that the officer is saying. And you have no reason I was doing nothing wrong. Sir, I can't hear you. If you roll your window down a little bit more, I can be able to talk to you. I am doing nothing wrong. Okay, like I said, you are under arrest at this time. Which is why so I've invoked my Fifth Amendment right okay, to and remain you can do silent. That, and that's fine. So all I'm asking for you is to step out of the vehicle. I won't ask you any more questions or anything like that. But you do need to step out of the vehicle because you are under arrest. Is that an order? It is an order. You heard it here first, folks. He ordered me out of the vehicle, so now he will be charged for his time. Yeah, go ahead and impose your imaginary fee schedule on the county or state or whatever, and I'm sure the judges will be uh, laughing you out of court. In the meantime, you can go ahead and uh, enjoy those new charges from the judges once you uh, appear before him. For my time. Go and step back here for me, sir. Go and take your hands out of your pocket for me. I'll take this from you. Well, that's the end of the video, folks. Another sovereign citizen bites the dust right there and, well, probably will never learn his lesson, but he at least took a ride in the, the back of a police car for his trouble. So there's at least that. Maybe, he'll, maybe there's a chance he'll learn. Maybe. But we'll see one day. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.